because if more people have more money supply, this is something called the quantity theory of money. I'm going to be uh, nerdy here for a minute. Go ahead. Go ahead. That quantity theory of money says if you increase the supply of money, then inflation is bound to rise. And to contain inflation, they have to increase rates. Mm -hmm. Well, that's exactly what has happened right. since 2017. The money supply increased from less taxes. It also increased because of COVID. We sent money to everybody, mm -hmm. not just those who need it, but everybody. I'm, and I think they did it correctly, except for the last swath of money that they sent out was not needed. Mm -hmm. And that just set inflation afire. Right. It was kind of like saying, hey, there's a bunch of gasoline out here. I wonder what would happen if we threw a match on it. Yeah. yeah. And as a result, food costs have went up 28%. So rates go up causes what? Money supply to go down. Exactly. Which what? Causes inflation to go down. Mm -hmm. Where are we at right now in that cycle of quantity theory of money? The money supply is tightened mm -hmm. and they call that restrictive monetary policy from the Federal Reserve. And as a result, rates have moderated. Well, the next step for them is to lower rates. Why? To cause money supply to go up. Mm -hmm. They have to do it a way that maintains inflation. Right. That's a tough thing. So I don't envy Jay Powell and the Federal Reserve. 